We work hard as physicians to take care of the health and well-being of our patients. But when it comes to our money, do we have the same condition of care? Probably, probably not. Let's change that together. Welcome to the Financial Freedom for Physicians podcast, where we'll fight and advocate for your financial literacy. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Christopher Liu. Thanks for being here. Let's jump into the show. Hey guys, I want to welcome you guys to the Financial Freedom for Physicians podcast. We've got a great episode this week. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell and be sure to like, comment, and share if you like this episode and we'll get into this week's sponsor and show. This week's episode is sponsored by CityVest. CityVest has quickly become the most popular and best way for doctors to invest in top performing real estate private equity funds that are usually reserved for institutional investors. This unique access to investing in these institutional funds is available for the first time ever through CityVest easy and secure online investment platform. CityVest does the hard work of conducting due diligence and vetting the investments. They even get a third-party due diligence report that is posted on their website. As a result of aggregating a several million dollar investment amount into their access funds, CityVest gains access to investing in the institutional investment and is able to negotiate better investment terms such as a 12% preferred return. You can check them out at cityvest.com or go to the link in the show notes below. Now on to the show. Before we begin today's content, here is a quick disclaimer. The information and material presented here is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. The content is not a recommendation to buy or to sell. Some of the content may be for credited investors only or may be sponsored posts. Every investment carries risks. Results have not been verified. So carefully weigh those risks against your investment goals and objectives and see if acting on the information matches with your investment thesis. Do your due diligence prior to investing. And as always, do not invest more than you can afford to lose. Welcome, everybody, to this week's podcast episode for the Financial Freedom for Physicians podcast. And I'm your host, Dr. Christopher Liu. And as you know, we talk about four different types of freedom, financial, time, emotional, and location freedom. And my mission is to empower you to, with the information, knowledge, education, resources to inspire you, uh, to help you on your journey in finding freedom. So in that mission, I bring on guests, used to be physicians and doctors, dentists, lawyers, and now I'm bringing in entrepreneurs, business owners, media producers to show you what's possible out there. So today we have a guest. Um, his name is G. Wright. That's how he goes. His, his name is Gregory. And he's he is actually in the media and the entertainment and um, industry. So today he's going to talk all about um, uh, media, developing a crystal message, speaking. So we'll, without further ado, uh, G., welcome. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, I know uh, you have a very interesting background, which is why I um, brought you on the show, because, um, you know, I think a lot of people these days, they need um, more education information on how to brand themselves, how to develop mm -hmm. a better message, how to um, develop a good uh, uh, product market fit with their message and connect with their audience. So that's why I brought you on. So tell us a little bit about you, your story, and we'll go on. Get, uh, then we'll go from there. Well, yeah, thanks. Uh, well, I'm G. Wright. I'm the producer and rock star media trainer for All Things Relax Studios. And to give you some background, I was a tour manager and live sound engineer for over 25 years. I was very fortunate to be able to travel the planet and work with some amazing artists and bands and lead singers. And everywhere we went and did shows, we did a ton of media. 
a ton of TV and a ton of radio. So I saw firsthand what it takes to make or break an interview. And that's why I'm here speaking to you today as a rock star media trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, you know, as a podcaster, you know, blogger, YouTubers, um, Instagram, TikTok, all of these, uh, these are all um, great distribution channels. And now people, just regular people, they don't, you don't need to be uh, on Bloomberg or anything. You can create your own. And uh, that's, that's the power of it. And that's how we empower people to take control of their destinies. So, Mm -hmm. um, and so let's get started. I know you, you were in the entertainment media business, which very big business, and uh, you can actually develop a lot of influence through those channels. So uh, let's talk, let's talk a lot about um, just, we'll talk about um, first the message, how to create a clear, crystal clear message. Well, I think, you know, as, as entrepreneurs, we can be a little too close to our, our product, right? And we may, we may see it in a certain way, right? And, and the people that we're sharing our information, our message with may see it differently. So the very first thing we do when, when people start working with us and with Rockstar is we start with the mindset and we start with the why, so think back to why you do what you do and then, you know, and build a, a foundation from there. And one of the first things we do is we start with the SWOT analysis, you know, and, and the USP and what makes you unique. And to put it in a band analogy, we, we, we think of like building your message, like building a, a band mix for sound, right? The first thing you do when you're starting with a band is you start with the bass and the drums. You build a foundation. This is the part of the music that's going to make the audience move. This is the groove. This is what, you know, you know, you, you create a pocket for the lead singer and the vocal, but you start with the bass guitar. And the bass guitar, when you're talking about your message, is your why. Why you do what you do. And then from there, you can just build more layers of, you know, what makes you unique? How are you different? Why should people work with you? Why should people buy your book or sign up for your coaching or invest with you? Why? So we really start with the mindset first, because before you get into any marketing or publicity, you really have to get to the roots. You know, I love like your, your four pillars of freedom. You know, I just love how like financial and time, location and emotional that in itself is just so powerful because it's really where it starts. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So well said. And no, thank you. uh, One thing that I have really noticed is that um, it's like, whether you're a rock star, whether you're a doctor lawyer it's all your personal brand and message and how you just use all of these tools to connect with your audience and in business they call it product market fit and you yes know, and um, other places they call it connecting with your audience so yes um and i know you you know as especially for um you know music and entertainment media uh you you know that's your specialties um what were what are some of the um ways that uh influencers can connect with their audience it may be a little controversial chris i apologize in advance i'm not a big fan of following trends Uh i'm not a big fan of if everyone is doing this just do it and and fit in with everybody i really like you know business owners and, and entrepreneurs like richard branson and you know elon musk and people that stand out people that try something that everyone else isn't doing and because they're so authentic to who they are and and they just have this great story that whether whether they try it and fail it doesn't matter that's a learning experience they keep going so i would say for a lot of influencers I think it's easy to get caught up in vanity metrics. I think it's easy to get caught up in in doing what is popular at the time. But I really feel that to connect with your audience, it's really about you being your authentic self and, and, and being confident with who you are, what you do, why you do it, how you're different, you know, the top five as we refer to it in Rockstar. And it all starts with really knowing what makes you different from everybody else and and that message should come through regardless of what media you're using or what platform Mm, i like that so authenticity uh 
and I know you speak a lot about uh, or you work with a lot of um, and you teach people to speak with confidence and clarity. Mm-hmm. Tell us more about that. Well, when 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 you speak of what you know, right? Like I worked in the music business for over 25 years. And now when I look back at it, it's very exciting. But when you're in the middle of it, it's just a day to day, right? It's just, okay, we did a show, we're moving on, we're doing another show. And because when you're talking in present tense, like this is what you do, and this is who you are, and this is why you you created your business and things, and you have that authenticity, people are going to relate to that. People are going to resonate with that. So we have to get out of the, the if, if you work with me, if you think, like even if you're going on a job interview, if you hire me, if you decide to work with me, we need to take away that and go right into the present. When you work with me, this is what we will do. We will do this together. You are not alone. See, so if you really dive into what your why is, and, and like I said, with the bass guitar, and then you build on it and, and build and build and build, then the authenticity is going to come through. And we show you how to do that without using a script. Because when you're using a script and you're reading and you're having to memorize lines and things, but like you you and I, we're just talking, we're just having a conversation. And really that's all media is, is that's all marketing and publicity is, is you're having a conversation with that one person and you connect with that one person. I like that. And I love just podcasts because it's just very, um, it's almost like a fire chat discussion. And it's very, yeah, this is great. We hope you don't mind this brief interruption from one of our affiliates. Doc to Doc is a personal lending solution designed by doctors for doctors. We understand that doctors' financial situations change faster than an insulin drip and ketoacidosis. And we also understand that doctors are the most reliable borrowers in the world. Through our proprietary algorithm, we're able to provide personal loans at great rates with amazing flexibility because we take into account your schooling, your specialty, and where you are in the medical journey. Doctors come to us after they've matched into residency and we loan for all sorts of personal reasons, from credit card debt consolidation to family expenses and medical bills. We speak with everyone who applies for a loan and offer fixed interest rates and flexible term options without prepayment penalties. If you're a physician looking for a personal loan, fill out our application form now. It only takes three minutes and we'll get back to you with a decision within 24 hours. I know a lot of listeners, they're, they're listening to this and they're like, okay, um, you know, got my message, developing a crystal clear message, um, speaking with confidence, clarity, you know, that um, becoming a, um, having a unique identity. Uh, Mm -hmm. What what are some of the techniques that um, your favorite singers use that um, people listening to this can uh, apply in their everyday lives, either they're, you know, speakers or influencers and and there or others that's that's a great question chris and here's one thing that i noticed regardless of what artist or what type of genre it was they all have a routine they all have a way they warm up before they perform they never walked out on stage and grabbed a mic and just started singing without knowing the songs knowing uh, you know the emotion that they want to create with the audience it's the same thing when you're public speaking you know if you think of your voice as an instrument right and and a lot of people will, may relate to well singers have to warm up their voice because they're going to be singing for an hour and a half right yeah. but every time you're talking this is your instrument so there's different vocal techniques and vocal warm-ups and and there's breathing exercises and and you know the tea and honey and all those things but you got to come up with a system that works best for you like we show in in rockstar have a warm-up phrase i think every i I worked in radio i started in radio when i was 16 and i was going to go down that path in radio and every radio dj i ever worked with has a warm-up routine so it could be something as simple as like my warm-up phrase is with everything going on in the world today and by saying that and repeating it and hearing it in the headphones 
it's it's equivalent to doing check one two check one two like we do like we did on the road but you want to get your voice ready to perform then you want to really be crystal clear on what your message is and one of the keys to this is what we use is called the set list and the set list is similar to what artists use when they perform there's a piece of paper that has the songs in the order that they're going to perform but in this case we 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 equate everything i bring the rock and roll side to to the rock star right um if you think of your stories as songs and if you think of your songs as as being stories that are that are shared right like an artist writes a song think of your favorite artist and how that story that song touched you right it's like wow it brings me back 20 years ago when i was in high school or college or whatever right that's the power of the story so if you go into, and that's what we walk you through with Rockstar, is if you create your set list, and the set list is not the order of what you're going to say, but it's, it's stories that relate to what your overall message is, your overall marketing message, right? And then you just put those on a list. Like I have my set list here that's literally just like a couple words or phrases. I don't have to memorize or read a script when I when I'm telling a story. I just I you know I I see like okay the the Aretha story so I could share the Aretha story with you, you know and and that is what when when you're public speaking you don't have to let that fear and all that self doubt go away. You're not going to screw it up oh. if you're being yourself and you're going out there and you're talking. You're just you know you're they're going to feel it. You know, I'll tell you what the Aretha story is since I mentioned it, but out of all the artists I work with, she was one of the few that contacted me directly. And yeah. at first I, th I thought it was a prank. I thought my <laughs> friends were playing a joke on me. I'm like, why would, cause you know, Chris in the business, a manager, an agent, a record label, somebody will contact you on behalf of the artist, uh -huh. but very rarely will the artist call. And she called me and I called back and I left a message and then she called back and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> she hired me personally on the phone. She's like, you come highly recommended. And I'd like to hire you to do this New Year's Eve gig. And I'll fly you up here and pay you and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like a dream come true. Because out of all the artists I've worked with, she had one of the best stories, right? But she had an incredible voice. Uh -huh. And the warm up that she went through to get that voice to where it was, that's what we're talking about. That's what we show you in Rockstar. Uh -huh. is you can, you can speak with confidence and clarity and have that crystal clear message and really connect with your audience when you take that approach that every time you perform, it's like a show. Uh -huh. yeah. and use those skills, the warm-up techniques and vocal right. dynamics, tempo, cadence, all of that. We go through all that in Rockstar. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, I, I like that because it's like... Uh, you know, it's sort of like a routine and then you get into your um, flow and get into your state and then yes. you do your thing. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, very creative way of um, producing. So, yeah, um, thanks. Then, uh, now let's see, I know you, so you, let's see, um, you know, you talk a lot about your, you know, your program um, and uh, your training program. Mm -hmm. So how, you know, how would you, how do you, so how does someone, you know, promote their book, product, coaching service, you know, from your standpoint? You have to strip away everything and get to the root. Mm -hmm. Why did you write your book? Why did you start your business? And then, like I said, the first thing we do is start with a SWOT analysis, a deep dive SWOT analysis, and really look at what are the strengths, what are your weaknesses. And we found this with clients that a lot of times they'll come in and one of their weaknesses might be that, oh, I have so many projects going on and I can't keep track of them all. And, and we look at it as that's a really good strength. You have a lot of creative ideas. Now, yeah. how can we shape this and, and make it so it's authentic? It's your story. We're not telling you what to say or pretend to be somebody you're not. But how can you incorporate all five of those things into your story? Uh -huh. You know, you're an author, you're a coach, you're a storyteller. That's the key. So let's focus on being the storyteller. And what story do you want to share? 
Yeah. You know, if you're an author, and I know you're an author, and you have these great books, and congratulations on all that. But you know, you don't just sit down and write a book in a day. It takes a lot of time and experience, and you know, uh, and 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 things you're going through, and growth, and all this to get to that point. And I think if the audience really feels you know, this, this isn't just a book you can read that's going to change your life. This is like, this is like my story. And you don't have to, like I said earlier, you're not alone. You don't have to do this on your own. There's a mountain to climb. And instead of climbing it by yourself, I'll show you how I'll help you climb the mountain. You're in good hands, right? It's if you have that type of message and, and then you build upon it and then you incorporate that into all your marketing, all your publicity, you're working with your publicist, the type of media you want to go after, it has to support your message. You know, you're working with a marketing team and buying ads and pay, pay for play, whatever, all that. It has to support what your overall message is. And if that's authentic and congruent to who you are, then you're going to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So well said. Um, what do producers look uh, for when booking guests? I, uh, okay. So I'm the producer of uh, all things relax with Sandy D. Sandy D is my partner and uh, co-founder of um, all things relax studios. And it's funny because she's an introvert Virgo and I'm an extrovert Gemini, right? Yeah. She's an introvert and she was terrified of public speaking until we started working together and, you know, and she's my partner and my life partner and she's just great. And so I look for somebody that it doesn't matter if you know exactly why you're doing your show, but you've got to have that drive. You've got to have that drive to, I'm going to go out and present this show or as a guest, you know, I, I'm starting out and, and I, I want to work with professionals. So the first thing I look for is a one sheet. If someone has a one sheet, they go to the top of the pile. And, and, and I look at their website. I look at, uh, you know, the, uh, we talk about this in, in Rockstar, the nest, right? The nest and the eggs and everything. I go into that in training videos. Um, but I look at their nest and see what their website looks like, see what their social media looks like. And is it congruent? to who they are does the one sheet match up with everything and and it's like this is a guest that's going to add value to our show i think that's the key if you're being a guest is how are you going to add value to the show and if and i appreciate you inviting me on here i really do this is so great and as a host how can i get guests that are going to add value to my show and that all starts with the message and that's what we cover in rockstar nice nice yeah, uh, yeah. I know we're coming on uh, time here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, any tips for, you know, you mentioned working with publicists in the media. Mm -hmm. um, any thoughts or suggestions on for the listeners on working with publicists in, in the media? Yes, I think that, I mean, in the music business, I'll, I'll keep this short, Chris. In the music business, there were two categories. People were either pro or amateur. And there's nothing wrong with being amateur. But pros are pros. Pros charge a lot and get paid a lot because they're good at what they do. So if you're an author and you are investing all this money to promote your book, work with the pros. Pay people. We don't, we never in the in music business did I really ever make decisions based on budget. It was, do I want a bus that's reliable? Do I want a driver that's been doing this for 20 years? Then I'll pay. I don't, you know, so I think the first thing is understand that this person has certain skills and an expertise that you maybe don't. So pay them, listen to them, but go to them with as much information and as much of a story as you can and be open. Even if you've been doing it for a long time, you're, you're hiring a professional, be open to what they say. Cause like I said earlier, people may see things differently than, than we do. Cause we're too close to it. Yeah. 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 Well, I've really enjoyed this um, conversation. Yeah. Thanks Chris. Uh, and you've added a lot of value. Um, how do people uh, get in touch with you, your website, contact you, and maybe even, okay. uh, you know, look into your training program. Yeah, well, you can join the band. That's what we call band members, clients that sign up and be part of the Rockstar Media Training Program over at allthingsrelaxstudios.com. 
And you can follow us on IG at All Things Relax Studios as well. Nice, nice. Well, G, um, it's been great having you, and um, uh, you know, we wish you the best success, and look forward to having you as a future guest on the show. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Chris. I had a great time. Cheers. What a fantastic show. I hope you enjoyed our very special guest. Just remember, as a shout out to our this week's sponsor, CityVest.com. CityVest gives you access to the best real estate private equity funds with enhanced investment terms, verified due diligence, and lower risk. You can check them out at CityVest.com or click on the link in the show notes below to hear about their upcoming investment offerings. If you enjoyed that episode, don't forget, that's just the free content. We also have paid premium content subscription with better guests, information, updates, and discussions that can't be accessed anywhere else. You can subscribe to our premium content by clicking on the link in the show notes below to just subscribe. Just a quick note, members who sign up for the bottom floor price introductory the first year will be grandfathered into that price for life. I expect the monthly subscription amount to increase quickly next year and the year after, so don't delay. I'm excited that you made it for another episode. You are truly the best. If you've been following the show for a while, you know that my passion is to bring you the education you need to find your path to financial freedom. Please come back week after week for new content, new resources, and great guests. Until then, if you haven't already, please be sure to check out the website, www.drchrislewmdphd.com for more support. I'll see you next week.